girl. Girl, what? taste in my mouth. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am not Jeffree Star. So today's video is going to be really random, okay? I just am in the mood to make a video right now. And y'all probably like, finally, you haven't been in the mood to make a video for like two weeks. Actually, nobody's probably thinking that because nobody watches. <laughs> Basically, what my dilemma is right now is that it's 9.45, okay, 9.47, and I have just made an iced coffee. Now, I'm not a huge fan of coffee, but it makes this video feel like, ooh, relatable teen, like, wow, so Tumblr, so aesthetic, so stupid. Basically, in this video, I'm going to be talking about random things, just anything I feel like talking about, anything that comes into my mind, just... And we might have a fun TED talk. I don't even know. I might get really heated about something or I might be really chill and just be like, hi. So I think like every little bit, I'm gonna play a different song. Um, kind of like a, what are those videos called? Like a my, like a monthly playlist. I don't know. Anyway, here's my favorite song at the moment. The left stroke just on fire. Right stroke for the baby. This song gets me happy in ways I can't explain. Yes! Okay, well, let's see. What should I talk about first? Um, let's talk about school. School is coming up very soon, and I know so many people are like, literally shut up, but People are in school already, so... You shut up. Okay, so school. I've had some pretty bad teachers um, in my life. So let's begin with sixth grade, okay? One of the worst teachers I've ever had. Here's a little story time for you. So I don't want a sister expose. Actually, I do want to expose, but I don't want to get in trouble. So let's just call this teacher Miss, Mrs... Miss Twit, okay, no. Miss Terry, okay, because she was terrible. Oh, that was terrible. So basically everyone who has this teacher hates her and she's like known as like absolutely awful. Right from the get go, right from the beginning of sixth grade, I knew I was going to literally despise this teacher. She was a science teacher and she was the worst science. Oh, she was not the worst science teacher I've ever had. I've had a worse one. <laughs> so first of all, I've always hated science. So having a teacher that I hated in science class made science even worse. I was a little bit sassy and some would say disrespectful. It's every day, bro. Comes one day. And basically we were lining up to get out of the classroom and the bell rang. And you know teachers, the bell doesn't dismiss you, I do. Well. I thought we were okay to go. So I left the classroom and so did some other kids. Then all of a sudden somebody was like, hey, Miss Terry needed to come back to the classroom. And I'm already like, girl. So I go back to Miss Terry who is standing outside of the classroom. In our hallway, there's a section in the middle with a teacher's bathroom. So you have the whole hallway and then you have this area that's directly in the middle of the hallway, like in front of everyone. Miss Terry is like, I did not excuse you to go. And I'm like, I thought you said we could go. Stop lying, Colby, you just told me the truth. And I'm like, I'm not lying. And I like explained to her what I thought happened. And she was like, stop lying. And was like literally yelling at me, like screaming at me, like stop lying. I'm like, girl, what? And then I started crying, of course, poor me. Aww. And I'm like, I'm not lying. And by this time, everyone was in their classrooms. There was only a few people left in the hallway. Everyone was watching her yell at me and watching me cry. And it was very traumatizing and embarrassing. So thanks, Miss Terry, sincerely. There were also some teachers in the hallway. And this is where Miss Terry gets a little bit two-faced. So after screaming at me and telling me I'm a liar, other teachers are looking at her like, 
girl, what? She was like, are you okay? Just take a deep breath, go get a drink of water, just calm down. Hi, you were just screaming at me. What happened? So I go out and I get a drink of water and then I go back to my next class. Thought that was uneventful, I snapped back. <coughs> so here comes later in the year and I'm in class. Basically at the end of every single unit throughout the year, we had to write these essays and we'd have to write a paragraph in each essay explaining what chapter we thought was best, Ooh. explaining what chapter we thought helped us most in the unit. So it's an opinion paragraph opinion. So it comes the day where she's finally passing back the essays. I go up and I grab mine and I walk back to my seat. There was four desks connected as like a table and that was like your group. So I went back to my group and I look at it and she marked points off for my opinion paragraph. Like, <gasps> hello? So I said to my group, I was like, why did she mark points off for an opinion paragraph? And Miss Terry over there clearly overheard and was like, what was that Colby? And this is across the room. And I was like, what? What did you say? Why? Ooh, that's when this boo got sister sassy. Because I said so, come here. Triggered. So I go up to her desk, everyone's watching, great, right? What were you saying to your group? And I'm like, I was telling them I was confused because you marked me wrong for an opinion paragraph. And she looked at me like I was the dumbest kid on earth, heller, no. She goes, go to me that textbook over there, now. I'm like, Okay, so I grabbed the textbook and I set it down. Open up to this chapter. Okay, I open up to the chapter and she's like, This is the chapter that I wanted you to write down. This was the most helpful chapter. <clears throat> Let me clarify. She's telling me this is the chapter that I needed to write down to get the full points for the paragraph that was an opinion paragraph, even though I thought a different chapter helped me more. And I said, but that's not the chapter that helped me the most. And she just like stared at me like, oh, Excuse me? I can't believe it. Like dumbfounded, like, hi, do you speak? <laughs> Hello? Then I started arguing about why she wanted me to use that chapter. Then I sister snapped. I couldn't take it anymore and I said, we had a situation like this before and I wasn't very happy with it and neither was my mother. If you want, we could call her right now along with the principal and sit down and have a meeting. And so she goes, okay, we can call the principal. Let's call the principal. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. So she calls the principal and I'm like, are you gonna call my mom? No, I'll deal with that later. She never called my mom. Scared? You should be. You don't want to mess with Mama Bear. <gasps> no! Before I told her that, I said something like, Miss Terry, you're the worst teacher ever, or like, you are a terrible teacher. And she was like, no, I'm not. And I was like, yes, you are. I know. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, so then the principal gets there, and we walk outside. The whole class is watching us, like, I don't even know what's happening. Colby's literally slaying the day. That's what's happening. Can we all just do our work? Where am I, man? And she was lying straight through her teeth so much. I was throwing so much shade at her. Like, basically, it all went back on me, like it always does. Because the principal freaking suck. I literally hate that principal. No shade, no hate, no tea. And then I had to go to the principal's office and talk with him for a little bit. And he was like, I'm sure you've learned a lot of great things in science this year, right? I'm like, mm-hmm. No, I was just so upset. I was crying. I was so over it. So I was just like going along with him and basically I didn't win. Um, however, the whole school literally loved me after that day. Like I came back from the principal's office and it was the next class. I don't know how, but everybody knew that I like yelled at her, everybody, like the whole school. It And it was like, I don't know how. And people were like coming up to me like, oh my gosh, did you yell at her? Did you say this? And I was like, yeah, that was me. I totally shaded her, like, hi. Anyway, yeah, so that's that story. That was probably really boring. Freshman year went smooth. So I'm going back to school in three weeks and three days. So, yay. Ooh. And I'm going into sophomore year. So I'm very excited actually for this year. Freshman year went by really smooth, really great, a grand old time. One of the best years I've had in school by far. I had no problems with any of my teachers. I liked every single one of them. I mean, some got annoying, but like bottom line is I pretty much liked them all. I had no beef with them. <laughs> this year I get to drive and I'm so excited for it. I get my license in December. So that's only a few months away. I'm gonna be 16. Now let's get real. I'm gonna get motivational here. Before I get motivational, let's play another song. If you wanna be happy, I don't think it matters who you are. Introducing me is such a happy song. I you cheese? Sometimes I'm a homemade quesadilla My name If you wanna know, here it goes Gonna tell you this part of me 
such a bop. Now it's time to get motivational. Going into school is so hard for a lot of people and I'm just glad to have a personality where, where I feel confident to just go to school and just really not care at all what people think. I mean obviously sometimes things bother you. Things people say will bother you. Things people do will bother you. And I'm not saying that I'm never like oh my gosh like does this outfit look good? Does my hair look good? Things like that. But I am at the point where it's kind of like if you don't like me then just keep it to yourself. Like, I really could care less what you think about me, like, at all. But I want everyone who's watching this video to go into school with this mindset. Literally be unconditionally yourself. School is such a blip. High school, blip. It'll be over like that. Enjoy these four years of your life. You're young, like, enjoy it. I know that everyone gets really busy during school with sports and like musicals and plays and, and practices and rehearsal and homework and studying and jobs and everything like that, but you need to make as much time with your friends and people as often as you can. I struggled with that freshman year. I would always come home and be like, I'm tired. I don't wanna hang out with anyone today. I just wanna sit home and watch YouTube. But no, like you, you're not living your life when you do that. You need to go out. Out there? You need to go with your friends. Girl! You need to make memories of your own. You need to have fun. Enjoy these four years. Every moment you can, spend with your friends. Spend with the people you care about most and the people who care about you most. Also, going into the friends subject, do not spend any time on fake friends. Bye! See ya. Or toxic people, or people who are mean to you. If a don't wanna show respect, you got to go. I literally spent so much time dealing with fake friends and trying to make friends and like being cool enough for them and like acting different just to be friends with a certain person because they're like popular. No, sweetie, I don't think so. That's not how you're happy. That's not how you become happy. You need to keep the people close to you who make you feel the best and who you are so happy with. How do you know if someone's a good friend? If someone puts you down constantly, never compliments you, talks about you behind your back, makes you feel bad about yourself, and if you're like, oh, I don't wanna hang out with them because I don't wanna deal with their attitude right now. They're not your friend, sweetheart. A friend is someone who you wanna hang out with. Like, I wanna hang out with them so bad that like, we need to hang out soon. Someone who compliments you. Someone who makes you feel so freaking good about yourself. Like, so good about yourself. Someone who you can tell anything to and they would still not judge you. That is a true friend. And if you have someone like that in your life, never get rid of them. I have pushed away people that I care about most for the stupidest reasons. I honestly couldn't even tell you why I did it. It was, and don't let people tell you who to hang out with. If you're friends with two people and they both don't like each other, it doesn't mean you still can't like them both. And if they have a problem with that, then I guess they can find someone else to hang out with. Don't stress about tests. If you fail a test, it's one test. You will live, you will get through it. It's a standardized test. They're crap. A letter grade does not judge how smart you are, sweetheart. Also, on a real note, if you see bullying, stop it. Just don't be scared to say something. You know the weird kids of school? Well, I'm not saying I'm not guilty of saying like, oh, they're so weird. Cause trust me, I've done it plenty of times. But I really wanna change that about myself this year because the kids people call weird are humans, okay? They're not monsters. Be nice to everyone in your school, no matter what popularity level they're at. Because the people who are called weird every day and who sit by themselves at lunch or bullied all the time, you have no idea what they're going through. They could be going through so, so, so much. The people who are rude are freaking sickening. Do not judge anybody for anything. <sighs> I am getting heated. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm gonna end this video because I've been recording for a very long time and it is now 10.22. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and watching me rant about school. I hope you found my story about Miss Terry from sixth grade somewhat entertaining and not too boring. And I hope you enjoyed my motivational TED talk about school. I do wanna add, no, I'm not perfect. I'm not saying that I haven't done the things I say you shouldn't do. I'm not saying I haven't called somebody weird or made fun of somebody's clothes or something. I'm not saying I haven't done that. I'm saying I wanna change that and it's wrong. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to make so many more videos on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and school vlogs because I really wanna make a ton of school vlogs this year. So subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on my social media. I post every single day I have an addiction. It's not okay, I should probably work on that. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do 
and be able to go to sleep. Bright stroke,